I just want to do a quick review of Bare Essentials new product, the High Shine uh, eyeshadow colors that come in a tube. They've put out a couple of High Shine colors already um, in different kits in, uh, in the pots, uh, but they have this new packaging now. Um, that's kind of interesting. Um, okay, so I just want to show you kind of what it looks like taken apart. And the one side has this sponge applicator and the minerals really cling to it. So you get a lot of product on the sponge itself. So I, don't, I would not recommend just like swiping it on and just using the applicator because you'll get a really thick layer of product on your eye. Um, but you can use the sponge to just kind of dab it and then blend it out with a kind of uh, fluffy brush like the um, tapered crease defining brush or any, you know, fluffy brush. Here you go. <laughs> anyway, um, because they blend out really nicely. I'm wearing um, patina and that's the sort of green color. Um, and the effect you get is a kind of multi-layered effect. It kind of looks like you've put on a matte shadow underneath and then something sparkly over the top. So you get a lot of depth and you can actually do a really quick um, smoky eye with just about any of these colors. Um, just, you know, putting it from lash to crease and then b blending it up into your crease and you'll sort of be instantly ready. Just need a little liner and mascara and ready to go. So um, I really like it for that reason. You can just have a nice, quick, easy, smoky eye. Uh, the packaging is kind of neat because uh, you don't have to worry about your minerals spilling or keeping everything upright like I like to do when I travel. Um, but so these might be great to just stick in your purse and go. Uh, the problem is that that sponge applicator by itself is not going to do the trick. So you're going to want to have a brush with you or something like that. Uh, there is an issue with fallout, I think, uh, because the minerals kind of stick to that sponge. They, when you put it on your eye, you'll get a little bit of fallout. But if you just take a, you know, microfiber cloth and wipe it away, uh, that works perfectly. And you can use that microfiber cloth to get in between your eyelashes as well and get any fallout that you might get from that. Um, and when you put it on there, it kind of like, there are little crumbs, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, and then you take the, you can take the brush and just sort of blend it in. And then you get a nice smooth, even distribution of the color and it looks great, I think. Um, it kind of creates a foiled effect. So a lot of the Bare Essentials eyeshadows you can apply wet and it gives them an extra shine. And so these high shine colors are basically give you that foiled look without actually having to wet them. You can use them wet though. Uh, just if you want extra ah, super shine. So uh, I overall really like these. They're very different in texture to the regular Bare Essentials powders, even the glimmer uh, texture of the Bare Essentials regular line powders. Um, and, but they're nice and they go on smoothly. They blend easily, really quick, looks easy to carry. Um, I don't know. I would just recommend using a brush. Oh, and you can just take the... So you could either pat it on your eye just a little bit, and a little goes a long way, so no need to like really put it on. Um, just sort of pat on a little bit and then blend it out with your brush. I think that's one technique that works well that doesn't create a lot of fallout. Um, if you're really worried about fallout, you want to be careful when you take it out and kind of swirl it around. Um, and the pl product does sort of cling to the sponge, so you can just tap it lightly um, this is just an old lid from Clear Radiance or something, and um, it'll you'll get the a few a little bit of product. Oh, there you go, lots of product. Um, actually, that probably doesn't look like a lot, but that's probably enough to do your eye, you know, right there. It's just um, a few sprinkles. Uh, so. If you wanted just a nice, light, neutral layer, this would be a good way to go. And then just swirl the brush like you normally do with regular Bare Essentials eyeshadows. Um, I have also heard of people just taking out the stopper and then pouring it into a jar. So if you prefer it in a jar, that's always an option. Um, but overall, uh, first impressions anyway. Uh, I love these new ones and great, easy to work with. And thanks for watching.